So I want to show you guys how to make a gospel song, a gospel melody sound full, rich, and complete with just a couple of tips that I'm about to show you. So you want to make sure that you stay till the end. This song isn't my own song. This is a song that my boy Orlando, aka I Am Sun made. Um, it's called I Want to Know. So I just kind of want to take this song and build on it and really just make it sound full. So this is me singing. This is what it sounds like. Check it out. I want to know. I want to know you, Lord. In all your ways. I want to know. I want to know you, Lord. In all your ways. For to know you. Is to love you. And to love you. Is to do what you say in all your ways. I want to know you, Lord. Oh. So that's basically what it is. That's what I have so far. So I'm going to build upon this vocal. Um, these vocals that I've done. Again, this isn't my song. This is Orlando's song. I am son. Incredible songwriter incredible producer if y'all don't know who he is y'all need to go check him out but let's act like you know an artist sent me over these vocals and they're like hey produce my song make something out of this the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to brainstorm what i'm hearing um i already know the melody that i'm hearing in my head because this song is already complete but i'm going to kind of change it around a little bit so lando don't be too upset with me for changing your song around but Let's act like, you know, um, we're, go we're going from level one and we're, we're just going to start building from here. So first, I'm going to start with my loops first. We're going to pull up a shaker right here. I want to know. I want to know you, Lord. The point of adding shakers to songs like this is making song move. So I'm always thinking of how can I take the song from just being still and moving so we're going to add these shakers in here all right i'm going to add the drums in here early one of the things that i like to do in order to fill the song i like to add key drums in the mix early so i can start building upon the rhythm of the song i'm using superior drummer three um, gospel easy x this is calvin rogers kit so y'all checked out join out i want to know I want to know you, Lord, in all your ways. I want to know, I want to know you, Lord, in all your ways. For to know you is to love you, and to love you is to do what you say in all your ways i want to know you lord oh oh oh, oh i want to know you lord All right, so that's a little bit of a laid back approach compared to what the original track is, is not laid back, but for the sake of this video, it's laid back. So follow along with me. What I'm hearing right now is adding a tambourine to this. So we're gonna add a tambourine to here. I'm gonna pull up one of my samples that I have. I wanna know, I wanna know you, Lord, in all your ways. All right, now we're going to bring in the keys. So we're going to mess around with the ideas, see what we can come up with. I'm using Studio Grand in a pad underneath, um, and I'm using my Nord, of course. When cutting gospel keys, it is very important that you be intentional with the way that you play. Um, the best way I can describe it is be direct, and whatever you decide to play, be intentional. Um, I'm going to try to give a good example of that right now. So I'm about to cut keys. I want to know. 
I want to know you, Lord, in all your ways. I want to know, I want to know you, Lord, in all your ways. For to know you is to love you, and to love you is to do. So that's what I mean by being super, super intentional. So we got the keys right now. Um, and now we're going to add base. So we're building on top of the foundation that we have. Again, this is why I like to use. Um, that's why I like to start with the shakers and the drums and the percussion and the loop and stuff like that. Because I can feel the track much better when I'm able to build over top of that versus just starting with keys. And again, there's nothing wrong with doing it the way that you feel like doing it. All tracks are different. But when I'm able to build over top of that, it helps me so much. Um, let's add a bass to this. Um, we're going to use the thumb bass. One of the best basses in Logic, I believe. I want to know. I want to know you, Lord. In all your ways. I want to know. up there love you is to do all right we're gonna punch in we're gonna cut this love you is to do what you say in all your ways i want to know later all right so the base isn't perfect but again we're painting a picture we're building on, on top of this now what i'm going to add i'm going to add some roads to this um for the sake of it i'm going to use classic electric piano um, i know a lot of you guys are using logic so i want to be make sure that i can show you that you're able to do this stuff with your stock plugins use what you got and with the roads i'm just going to kind of color over top of what i was doing with the keys so we'll check it out I want to know, I want to know you, Lord, in all your ways. I want to know, I want to know you, Lord, in all your ways. For to know you is to love you. aren't perfect but i would go back in and recut them but for the sake of this video let's keep going we're building a foundation now we're going to add a pad um, beneath the keys so the pad is kind of going to be that another support foundation for this track 
So I'm going to pull up Mosaic Pads. Mosaic Pads is a sound pack that I worked on specifically for Logic. If you want access to that, um, the link is below on my website. Let's try another one. I want to know. I want to know you. Yikes messed up. All right, another thing that I'm hearing, I'm going to pull up one of my worship drone pads from my CCM pack. And I'm going to drag that over here. I'm going to drag the key of C because that's what key we're in. And that's going to add more depth to this track. So check this out. I want to know. I want to know you. Alright, another thing that we do a lot in gospel is we add these little intros that have like these rising effects. So we're going to search for something that's in Logic. Um, Alright, let's go with that. See how that sound. I want to know. I want to know you, Lord, in all your ways. All right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a guitar over top of this. So the guitar is really just going to open up this track. Um, I'm hearing an acoustic guitar. And trust me, the acoustic guitar is going to do what it needs to do. I'm going to play the melody a lot with this acoustic guitar. I want to know. I want to know you. Got that guitar in there. Now we're gonna add a little bit of aux. So with aux, the idea of aux is to get out of the way and highlight what's already in the track. If it ain't in the track, we're not necessarily trying to create what ain't there. There is exceptions to the rule. In all ways. I want to know. I want to know you, Lord. 
All right, we're going to add one more thing. I do have to get ready to run out, but we're going to add one more thing. We're going to add Bellsfer. Um, this is a log Logic, um, one of the best Bells in Logic, I believe. I want to know. I want to know you, Lord, in all your ways. I want to know. All right, we got to add one more thing. I could build over top of this track all day. Um, again, we're building blocks on top of a foundation. In order to build, we have to have a foundation. We started with the rhythm of the track. We started with the shaker and the drums. We started with this. Then we set up a foundation with the keys. Then we added bass and we started building over top of that. Then we brought in the aux to highlight what's already there. Production is not about being busy. It's about telling a story and building over top of it, you know. All right, I'm going to cut on my uh, Nord organ real quick and so you can see what it sounds like. In all your ways, I want to know. That is I Want to Know by I Am Sun. I did remix it a little bit and change it up. But I hope that you guys learned something from this video. If you like this video, if you like content like this, please hit that like button. Tell me in the comments what else y'all want to learn. We're going to keep on going with this building blocks of gospel music series. So y'all show me some love with that. All right, we out.